everyone welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm gonna be doing a library book haul I love the library so much and basically all of my holds from the library have come in the but here is to the library book haul the first book that I'm gonna talk about is Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo I had this since um, August maybe I don't know um, but I, this was on my August TBR and I have yet to finish it so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish it and so this is basically the continuation from Shadow and Bone and the second book in the Christianverse by Lee Bardugo and I DNF'd this before and the reason why was because I wasn't in the mood for it and I feel now is the time to get back into it and hopefully I can finish it because I need to finish it. <laughs> the next book that I have is The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang and this is all over booktube at the moment. Like it is so popular and I can't blame you because I love adult romance like the new adult romance I don't know why like some of it's very bad but this seems to be my thing I don't know why like I love Abby Glines I love I don't know if I like, like uh, James's writing or Fifty Shades yet um, I like Castile you know there's so many great authors that I love um, but this is a different one to try out and so all I know about this is that this girl who has um, Asperger's that's what she has she basically is uncomfortable with being with a another person so she basically hires on this guy and she breaks that barrier slowly but surely and I feel like this is something I'm going to love because knowing my stupid self who is addicted to adult romance this is gonna be my crap the next one is another adult romance that I think is definitely going to be um, something that I'm going to love and that is the hating game by Sally Thorne so this is a, another new adult romance and this is basically about two office workers who start out hating each other but then blossom into love I guess it's really kind of my favorite um, cliche the hating to loving thing I love that cliche I don't know why but I do so this is probably gonna be a really good one for me the next one is every heart a doorway by Shannon McGuire this was also on my August TBR never got to read this yet because I was trekking through season storm and just haven't got around to it sadly um, but I'm hoping that I will read this in the next week because I've done every single thing in my homework so I have the entire weekend free so excited about that now comes the newer ones that I recently got the first one is the hate you give by Angie Thomas I have yet to read this um, because I just I don't know I really don't um, honestly like I know this topic is important but I don't know if like I'm gonna be in the mood to read this at the moment and I don't want to rush it so I'm gonna try it see how it goes and if I'm not interested in reading this I'm going to put it down because this is a very powerful story and I want to indulge myself completely into it and I don't want to end up hating it because you know no point in that next one is ruin and rising by Lee Bardugo and this is the final book in the Grisha trilogy and once I finish season storm this book oh this book I am so ready to finish this series and this one's pretty small which I'm okay with like yes 
so I do not know what's going to happen in this book. I need to finish Season Storm first, so I'm not going to give you any synopsis, um, but I'm ready to end this trilogy so I can move to Six of Crows. Next one I'm super pumped about because I didn't realize they had this, but they did, and I'm so excited. So this is Slasher Girls and Monster Boys, story selected by April Genevieve Tushulk and various other authors. I'm so pumped about this. Oh my gosh. I love horror anthologies. I don't get to read them as often as I do, but when I do, I love them. I'm so in I'm so into them. I cannot wait to read this. And like thriller has really been on my side lately like i really loved thriller novels so maybe it's time to finally take that step and read thriller the next one i'm gonna get a little bit of hate from you guys from because i have yet to read this book and i am 18 years old yeah kind of late because this is a very popular book and a lot of you are probably already guessing it right now um here we go. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I have not read this yet. And I'm kicking myself every time because I haven't read it. So we're not gonna talk about this one because everybody knows what Harry Potter is. I'm just gonna say why I have not read this. The reason being, one, I never owned any copies. Two, I was never really in the right mindset to read it and three now i am so i'm getting to it so don't you worry about hating me because i hate myself for not reading this and once i finish the series i will be okay <laughs> everything will be fine okay next one is a book that i'm pretty excited about and this is winter song by S.J. Jones. So all I know about this is that it is a labyrinth retelling and I've never seen the labyrinth which really sucks because you know I've always wanted to see it because David Bowie um, but I don't even know if we own that. I'll just get it from the library but I'm really excited about this. I think I'm really going to enjoy the story um, from what I read from the synopsis and uh, I can't, I don't remember the synopsis at the moment, <laughs> but you guys, if you're into the labyrinth, this is a perfect book for you. All right, and the last one is one I'm currently reading because I started it today, and oh my gosh, this is so good already, and I just started it. So this is The Girl in 6E by A.R. Tor. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, so let me tell you the first chapter. Starts off with a sex scene. Not just any sex scene, an internet-based sex scene. And you find out that this girl is forced to live in her apartment because if she interacts with other people, she basically will lose control. So Jessica is her new identity from her old life. And after so many years, she has not touched or interact with another person due to the fact that her mother um, killed her family and then committed suicide afterwards. So she's pretty fucked up from that. And so now she has the murder-like tendencies that her mother had. And so that is why she locks herself away and has everything delivered to her house. Kind of shocking, right? Yeah. I'm really excited about this. Like, um, I haven't gotten far. I've only gotten like about 15 pages in and it's already told me so much. Like, after I'm done this video, I'm gonna be reading this. Yes, please. Oh man, I am pumped. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, the like button, and leave a comment down below telling me what you want to see from this channel. 
and don't forget to follow my bookstagram because I post daily book pictures all the time. Um, well, not every day, sadly, because I have a college life and need sleep. So thank you guys again, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!